Hello, Adolfo from Portainer here. In this video, I want to show a basic deployment of the Traffic Ingress Controller on a charmed Kubernetes cluster and how to use it with Portainer. We have a video on how to deploy Portainer on a charmed Kubernetes cluster that you can watch here and that I highly recommend as it is a prereq for this tutorial. Charmed Kubernetes comes with a default Nginx Ingress Controller that uses ports 80 and 443. These ports are commonly used to access websites, apps, and APIs over the internet. Traffic also requires that these ports are available. So in this exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the default Nginx Ingress Controller. You could have both running on your cluster, but that would probably require a more complex configuration of firewall rules that can vary from one cluster environment or cloud provider to another. So I'm assuming that you have your portainer deployed already on your charmed Kubernetes cluster and that you have access to the cluster via kubectl. Helm is also required to deploy traffic, so make sure you have this command installed. It's available via snap. So let's start by doing some initial prep work. I'm going to start by downloading the default values YAML file from the traffic JIT repository to my machine. I need to modify this values YAML file slightly so I can make it work on my charmed Kubernetes cluster. So here I'm downloading from the traffic JIT repository the values.yaml file. Now I'm going to change this file slightly so I can open ports 80 and 443 for traffic on my charmed Kubernetes cluster. And I'm going to use sed to make the changes to my values.yaml file. So now I'm going to change two variables on my values.yaml file. The host port 80 and the host port 443. This ensures that these ports will be available for traffic. The second thing I need to do is to add the traffic repository to Helm. So with this, I'm adding the traffic repo so I can deploy traffic on my charmed Kubernetes cluster via Helm. Now I can run a Helm repo update. Right. So now I'm going to remove the default Nginx ingress controller from my charmed Kubernetes cluster. Once the Nginx ingress controller is removed, we can deploy traffic using Helm, making sure that it uses the values.yaml file we just edited. So usually you would install traffic just by running Helm install traffic space traffic slash traffic. But in our case, we want to make sure that Helm picks up the changes that we did to the values.yaml file. Okay, and now I'm going to test this with a couple of apps. But before doing this, it's important to mention that I'm using a wildcard domain name set up on my DNS server. This simplifies a lot my deployment, given I won't need to add each host entry to my DNS server every time I need to publish an app, a website, or a service on my cluster. My wildcard domain is pointing to the worker zero machine's IP address, and you can get the IP address of this machine by typing juju status pipe grep kubernetes dash worker slash zero. So this IP address is the one that is pointing to my wildcard domain name. Okay, so now let's go to our pertainer instance and deploy some apps to be routed via traffic. I'm going to connect to my Portainer instance via a SSH tunnel. And this is very easy with Juju. So basically what I'm doing here is via SSH creating a tunnel using port 3777 to my local host machine. And now I can connect to my Portainer instance just by typing localhost 3777. So as you can see, I haven't configured this Portainer instance yet because I want to make sure that I had traffic installed first. I'm going to create a first admin user, 
connect Portino to my Kubernetes environment. And I'm going to start by, in the Kubernetes features configuration, add traffic as my ingress controller. I can also enable the metric server. So here um, I'm enabling also a storage with a proper policy and value expansion. I'll save this configuration. And now, as I said, I want to test this with a couple of apps. So let me open my endpoint and I can start by adding a resource pool. This resource pool, I'm going to call caddy because that's what I'm going to deploy. I'm not going to play around with, with resource assignments for now. What I will enable is the Ingress uh, controller, in this case, traffic. And because I'm deploying a web server, I'm going to put in a host name, www.zz11.net. This domain, zz11, is a, is a dummy domain I have. Actually, it is a registered domain, but I usually use it for these demonstrations. So first I create a resource pool so I can point whatever I deploy under this resource pool to that specific host name. So now let's deploy Caddy. I can add it as a regular application. I'm going to call it Caddy. I know that the image is also called Caddy, which is very easy and convenient. I'm going to select the Caddy resource pool I just created earlier. I can put it under a stack. I'm not going to give any persistence um, for now. It's just for test purposes. Really, what, what I really want to show is how traffic is going to manage this route. And the route I'm going to apply is the root of the application. OK, so let's deploy Caddy. It shouldn't take long. It's a small image. It's very fast to deploy. And there it is. It's already deployed. I'm going to open Caddy. And when I click on this link, it will take me to the app I've just deployed under the Charmed Kubernetes cluster that is being routed via traffic. OK, so let me see if this worked. Open in a new tab, and as I can see, Caddy works. So here, what traffic is doing is receiving a request uh, under the host called www.zc11.net, and it's routing that request on port 80 internally to the app I've just deployed. OK, let's test this with um, another app. Let's say I want to deploy a wiki. Um, OK, I'm going to deploy DocuWiki. Let's call it DocuWiki. Again, this is just for testing purposes. I'm not going to play around with the resource assignment. I will, though, give it a host name. It could be anything. It could be wiki. It could be, I don't know, whatever you want. Um, documents. It really doesn't matter because, again, I'm using a wildcard domain name on my DNS server. So anything I put before the main domain name will be routed to the IP address of my worker machine because that's what I configured on my DNS server. And this is, this is extremely convenient because you can deploy any amount of apps as long as you respect the domain name here on the um, Ingress controller. So, OK, I'm creating wiki.zz11.net, and I'm going to deploy DocuWiki. Using that resource pool. DocuWiki. This is the image. I'm going to use the DocuWiki resource pool. Put it under a new stack. Again, I'm not going to give it any persistence. It's just for testing purposes. What I really want to do is test that traffic is going to route the app's port properly to the root um, of the host name I gave it on the resource pool. And you see the port here is a different port, DocuWiki typically deploys on port 8080. Okay, so let's deploy DocuWiki. Something quite interesting about um, Portainer is that you can enable auto refresh on a lot of the um, tables that you see here on the application. So with this, it's just a matter of every 10 seconds, I refresh on the table to see the status of my apps. 
And OK, I see that DocuWiki has been deployed. I'm going to click here on DocuWiki. And by clicking here on this HTTP route, it should open DocuWiki accordingly. And look at that. I have DocuWiki deployed on my charmed Kubernetes cluster being routed by traffic. One last app I want to test with a slightly different configuration. This app is a tiny little app called Who Am I, sort of like a Who Am I on your web browser. But I'm not going to open a new resource pool for Who Am I. I'm going to use an existing resource pool just to make sure that traffic understands that it has to deploy this app on a different path. Okay, so let me add the application. Who am I? This is the image, and I'm going to leave it under the same caddy resource pool and under the same stack, and you'll see why. Again, I'm not going to play with any of the uh, persistent um, re options that I have here because it's just for the testing purposes of traffic. Port 80. But this time, I'm going to put it here on a different path. Who am I? You will notice that if I leave it on the root, the default route I have for caddy, um, Portainer is going to tell me that this route already exists. So I have to put it under a new path because I'm using a resource pool that I had already previously defined with the caddy app. I'm going to deploy the application. Okay. And who am I? It's already deployed. So if I click here, it should take me to who am I? And there you go. Who am I? Right. So um, we saw a practical and very basic deployment of traffic on a charmed Kubernetes cluster running on Azure. And um, this shows the power of Portainer in terms of the networking features that it has. Portainer also supports the default Nginx ingress controller, and it's quite similar to the traffic ingress controller. The point here is the ease of use. And there are even more advanced deployments of traffic. For instance, you can deploy traffic in a way that it automatically downloads a SSL certificate for your host. Um, and there are tons of options that you can um, use uh, in order for traffic to do that, uh, which I'm not going to go over on this video because then it would take too long because there are tons of certificate authorities that you could use also uh, for this uh, deployment. It could be Let's Encrypt. It could be the one on your cloud provider or a, or a specific um, one that you have already deployed in your environment. Um, but this is also a possibility. And that's one of the very interesting things about traffic. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for our next how-to. Thank you very much.